Hey everyone, Kuuipo 1207 in the house, represent! Okay, just kidding. Anyways, uh, we're going to do this blue look here. And it is brought to you by FantasticMakeup.com. Please visit my site. It's um, lovely. Anyways, start out with a primer. I used Urban Decay Primer Potion as usual. And I applied it to my upper and lower lash lines. Next, I applied Delft Paint Pot by MAC over my entire lid up to just above my crease. I used my finger at first um, and then after I got it blended up and, and had the, the line towards the top blended out, I went ahead and used my MAC 242 brush. If you prefer to use your finger or your brush for the whole process, then go ahead and by all means do whatever you are comfortable with. I just prefer to do it that way because I just feel like it, it just applies easier for me and goes on a lot smoother and doesn't dry as fast for me when I do it with my finger first. It gives me time to work with it and blend it in a bit. The next step too is go ahead and apply a little bit of Delft underneath your lash line, your lower lash line, and I used my MAC 231 brush for this step. And I only applied it towards the outer corner and then just kind of blended it inward towards the inner corner. Voila. The next step, I used Makeup Forever Star Powder, and the color is number 944. I'm not really sure why they don't have color names on them, but whatever floats your boat. Um, to apply this, I used my MAC 242 brush, and I just applied it on in a packing motion. And then I also took my MAC 231 brush and applied it to the inner corner of my lower lash line. And I didn't go more than a third of the way in. The next color is another Makeup Forever color, and it's color 906, and with the same brushes that I used earlier, um, I just patted it on to the middle third of my uh, upper lid, and I used my 231 brush, and also applied it to the middle third of my lower lash line. Um, I didn't really do a lot of blending, but if you want to go ahead and blend the colors in, you can. Uh, they're pretty similar by the time you put them on. The next color I used was MAC Electric Eel Eyeshadow, and I just applied that to the outer third of my lid and a little bit up into my crease and just kind of blended it in with the other two Makeup Forever colors that I had used. The brush that I used for applying it was the Maxine's Mop 3 8 inch Mop by Low Cornell. And then on my lower lash line, I also applied Electric Eel with my MAC 231 brush. This color is Fresh Water by MAC. It's an eyeshadow, and basically I used the previous two brushes, the Maxine's Mop and the MAC 231, and I applied it right over where I'd put Electric Eel, just because it would just give that um, bit of shimmer that the other two colors have already had, whereas Electric Eel is more of just a matte color. To define your crease, I used the MAC 275 brush and the color Deep Truth Eyeshadow by MAC, and I just applied it into my crease and a bit towards my outer corner and just blended it in to kind of create, um, to kind of give my crease some added depth. For my highlight, I used MAC Rice Paper and I just applied it to my brow bone using my Face Secrets blending brush which I purchased from Sally Beauty Supply and I just blended it in with the blues that were above my crease. Now on the inner corner there of my eye, if you can see that right there, I hope you can, duh, you're watching a video, I applied White Frost by MAC and I just applied it right in just to kind of brighten up the inner corner there. Grab your favorite black eyeliner, line your lower lash lines and upper lash lines just like that and try not to poke your eye out. Uh, if you if you have problems lining your lash line, I prefer to start from the outer corner and work my way into the middle, and then once I get the middle part, then I go from the middle part of my lid to the inner corner. Uh, some people prefer to line the whole way through, so whatever floats your boat. After I lined my eyes, I took my MAC 230 br 231 brush, and then I just kind of smudged the line just to blend in the black with a bit of the blue, so the black wasn't so in your face with all the blues that are going on on your eyes. If you have a 219 brush, you can use the 219 brush instead of using the 231, whatever you're more comfortable with.
I went ahead and curled my lashes and applied my mascara. My foundation and blush was already applied prior to filming, so I just went ahead and finished up the rest of my makeup, which would be my lip liner. Um, I jumped a step and filled in my eyebrows, because I'm a geek like that. Then I went back to my lips and finished up with some lip gloss. And after I did all that, I made myself look like a retard on video. So that's what you can accomplish with this look. Hopefully you guys like it, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Bye.